broad band. The opposition against a proposed ban on municipal broadband services continues to grow. Now, we told you yesterday about an amendment attached to Ohio's Senate budget proposal that will prohibit cities from starting or even operating their own Internet services. Organizations far and wide have labeled that proposal as the wrong idea at the wrong time. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg goes in-depth now to explain why. If there's anything the pandemic has taught us is that broadband is essential, but an amendment attached to the Ohio Senate's budget proposal could cripple it. First of all, it troubles me that we even have to deal with a proposed new barrier at this point. Jim Baylor is the co-founder of the Coalition for Local Internet Choice, a municipal broadband advocacy organization that features the likes of Netflix, Nokia, and Google Fiber, among others. He says a ban on municipal broadband services artificially cripples communities, competition, and economic growth. It holds our communities back. It holds our nation back. Like electricity, advanced communication services are platforms, drivers, and enablers of just about everything that's important in modern life. If approved, the amendment would sound the death knell for more than 30 municipal broadband services across the state, including the city of Fairlawn that launched its own service in 2017 after major ISPs declined to install fiber in the community. Since Fairlong Gig launched with an initial investment of 10 million, the city says 700 jobs have been created. The government is not here to make a profit. The government, the idea behind it is to give the best service possible. At the same time, obviously, there's some debt and some operation costs that, that we're covering by the service, but we're not here making a killing on it like a private business would. The question of the role of government is one of the key tenets of this issue, and it's often cited as the reason that some say these bans are necessary. 18 states have imposed severe restrictions on municipal broadband or banned it outright. However, recently, some states like Arkansas have done away with those bans. Its legislature, much like Ohio, is heavily Republican. It seems that the Ohio legislation is 180 degrees in the wrong direction. What we need to do is to encourage broadband deployment. It's a core utility in our current lives. In the end, Baylor says it should come down to choice. He believes if a city and its people want to make the investment, they should be able to. They're the ones who know the community. They're the ones who have the most at stake. They should have a respected role in this process. The Ohio House and the Senate have until the end of this month to finalize their budget proposal and send it to Governor DeWine for approval. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.